Hello, I'm so happy I got a hold of you, and welcome to the Zelda Clone Month recap video. So I'm going to make this pretty easy, I'm just doing it off the cuff, not as much editing as I typically do, although knowing me, I probably will. Uh, Copper's here because he can't stand not being in my filming room without me, so he's going to be joining me right now until he eventually jumps off my lap. And if you want to know what next month's theme is, stay tuned to the end of the video. And for those of you that are bummed Zelda Clone Month is over, don't worry, there's going to be another one. Hell, there could be a Zelda 2 Clone Month. There's so many of them out there, and I like those games, so I'm definitely going to be finding a reason to doing them. Like, I still haven't played Alundra, even though I hear that one has some of the same issues I had with... Well, let's, let's run the games down. So, week one was Soul Blazer, the Quintet Trilogy official start point. Week two, we had the original Saiken Densetsu, known as Final Fantasy Adventure here in the States. Week three, we turned to the Nintendo Star Tropics. And week four, we finished it off with... Beyond Oasis, I think Ancient Man. I don't even know who made the game, really. But if I was going to basically rate them all, I mean, I think you can tell by the videos, clearly Beyond Oasis would be my least favorite of the bunch. The the horrible platforming mixed with the... Just, I didn't care for the sound, the art style. Now, bear in mind, this was the only game I played using composite, or, com yeah, composite, whereas the other ones I have HDMI systems for it. Until I get my retro tink, maybe I will change my mind, but... I just didn't care for Beyond Oasis. I mean, watch the video, you know why. So that'd be my fourth favorite of the Zelda Clone Month. Number three, it's kind of a toss-up because number one was defined, but number three and two are kind of up in the air. But I think I'd go with number three as Final Fantasy Adventure. Not because it was bad, not because it was annoying, just because it's a Game Boy game and it's just the presentation isn't as pretty and the frustration I had with the ice spell and just stuff like running into townsfolk. It was a great game, there's no knock on it, but I think I found my number two pick was Star Tropics just because of the zaniness, the insanity, even though the control scheme was so much worse on it, it was a lot shorter. It was a lot shorter game. I played a lot of Final Fantasy Adventure. A lot more than I thought I was going to. So, I think the brevity of Star Tropics helped overmake and overlook some of the, uh, the pitfalls that I found in the control scheme. And then number one was no contest. Soul Blazer is an amazing game. Uh, I love Terranigma. I often say Terranigma is one of my all-time favorite Super Nintendo games. And Soul Blazer definitely lives up to that Terranig Terranigma hype. I, I really enjoyed it. The whole concept of building a town. Apparently, Dark Cloud uses a similar formula, so now I'm even more interested in playing that game. And just the whole thing was great. It was nice. The length was good. The ease of getting into all the different optional collectibles. The fact that it wasn't required. Everything up until the final battle where I had to grind on the boss himself to kill him was just easy and fun and rewarding. It's just a great game. So definitely, if you're going to pick any game from this month to check out, Soul Blazer should be the first one. And just want to say thank you guys for all the nice comments. I definitely saw an uptick on views this month. So going back to retro was a good thing. I know Magus Trigger is happy. He was getting triggered all year with the backlog. Although, of course, my backlog has gotten bigger now since I stopped doing it. Dead Cells came out, Octopath, which I'm probably not going to be doing a review on. But I do have 82 hours in it, and it's awesome. And look forward to next month, guys. It's going to be Action Hero Month. Because you all know me, I love me some action heroes, so all four games are going to be all related to action movies and action heroes, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So once again, guys, it's been so nice getting a hold of you. Take care. <laughs>